Hi uh, guys, um, it's your boy again, Fix Flip. I'm sorry guys, um, I couldn't upload uh, a video last week Monday, but let's see this week Monday what are we looking at. And if it is your first time guys uh, being on our channel, um, so every Monday we upload videos analyzing what could happen on the markets and using that information then during the week we execute trades and uh, making sure we, we get some profits uh, using the analysis that um, we looked at. So please guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also let's comment and share as well the videos with others who are trading so that they can benefit just as much as you are also benefiting. Okay guys, um, looking at crash 500 guys, so if you look here on one hour time frame, um, sorry, it's we are on four hour time frame and then we can see that we have got this level here, which is a very strong level, uh, resistant level. And then we also have this level here, which is also um, support. And then within those two levels, then we can see that price had this trend line here which price was respecting so first price was coming to this level respect go up come back respect it go up come back respect it you can see it respected this one two three year four year the fifth time then it broke it came back to test it came down came back to test it and then now it's testing it for the fourth time so now what we're expecting is price is first on this trend line second on our resistant so there is a high chances that price will turn here and if it turn we're expecting it to come down here again but if it, that doesn't happen and then price come and break still what we have to wait for is price to come back and test it then when we see that price is buying then we go in for a good buy but if price continues selling here then we can uh, look for better entries jump in for sales expecting price to come all the way down guys notice that it's possible that price must, might come here come back again to this level before continuing going down so you need to be careful and execute a trades um taking note of that but uh right now this is what we are expecting on crash 500 now let's look at crash 1000 crash 1000 um we expecting good sales on crash 1000 so if you can see guys this is also for our time frame and on our four hour time frame we have got this level here from this all the way to here this is a very good um it was a support until now it's resistant so price broke this resistant this support it broke the support here sold came back to test it and we're expecting good sales coming down and if we go down to one hour time frame uh, then let's see what are we seeing on a smaller time frame here so if you come down to one hour time frame guys then you see that price uh, let me first delete this um, this might disturb us okay um, this deleted uh, this as well okay so on one hour time frame guys then we can see that price had this trend line here coming down which it was respecting the whole time it also had another small one a trend line within a trend line which is this which it was also following so with that in mind it was either it will come to this trend line and turn or break it come to this one in 10 then come back to this one in 10 come back to this one in 10 and this time it broke came to this one in 10 but this time when it came back we we're expecting it to respect this one and go down which it didn't then we we're expecting it to respect this one and come down which it didn't so it broke the trend line came to this resistant now it's selling we expect it to sell back to this level 
to this trend line and this now which is support here and from here then we'll see if price tend to come and break this to start buying or is going to break again coming back inside our um our, our selling trend line and then continue selling so right now we're expecting price to come to this level and then give us um the truth where is the price gonna go is it gonna go up or is it gonna go down so even it even if it comes here guys and start buying i wouldn't say this is a confirmed buy until it break this resistant here then we know now it's a confirmed and nice buy entry so just look out on crash 1000 but if, even if it come and break here then also look for very nice sell entries coming down so that is on crash 1000 and then if you look at um v75 i don't know who remembers our analysis on v75 but if you remember correctly guys we said we're expecting price to sell on that level let's change our color here so on our previous video uh we're saying we're expecting price to to come and test this and then go up which it broke a little bit and then went up and then when it came down again the the exact time when it broke this trend line it was coming to test this level which is this one here so it came back to test the level went back to test the previous high and then started selling so this was a very good confirmed sell opportunity so if you remember guys we said from here price was gonna sell and was gonna sell hard and which is what happened but right now looking at the price so if we draw a nice trend line from here to here um you can see that let me extend this right now guys we're expecting price to come back to this level and then either go up or come down but once you are on that level then we have this level here which is very good resist uh, support sorry so meaning if price come and break that they still opportunities that price will sell or the price will buy so until price comes down to this level here if it come and break this level coming down then it's confirmed nice sell but if it comes here and tends to go up meaning if it tends here going up then guys we are good for okay if it comes and turns and goes up then we are good for a buy or even if it comes here there's still good opportunities that it might buy as well going up but once it break this level coming down come back to test it and then we know we are good for sales that is uh v75 now with boom 1000 uh boom 1000 guys um let's do this with boom 1000 guys um we have this level here this level which is very nice resistant and uh, we have this level here which price just respected and also we have this level up here now with these levels uh, that we just indicated don't forget also we have this one so now with all these levels that we just indicated with this is on uh, 24 hour time frame so if we come down to four hour or one hour time frame then what are we seeing what we are seeing right now is price is respecting this level as well as respecting this level so it's possible right now that price will come back to this level and then come down again or break retest and go down break retest and go up 
but at the moment we're expecting price to buy to this level and then from there it will tell us what might happen so if you want to scalp uh, or cash sparks on boom 1000 guys expect nice buys coming back to this level before price decide what to do we're expecting buys coming back to this level here so boom 1000 might go up might come down but was waiting for that right now we're expecting a nice buy coming back to this level so if you are looking for buys on boom 1000 then it's it's good to to look for scalp entries or catch spikes on boom 1000 but if you want to swing trade then wait for price to break out test retest and then buy or break out retest and then sell then you can swing trade your your boom 1000 now looking at boom 500 guys uh, not forgetting gents um, if it is your first time guys uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel that way um, we support me and I see that um, people are enjoying uh, what I'm what I'm uploading so guys if you're enjoying the videos guys if you're finding them helpful don't forget to subscribe okay guys um, on boom uh, boom 500 guys if you remember on our last um, upload then we had this which we said it's not a breakout it's a week if we look at higher time frames and then we're expecting price to go up which is what happened uh, price went up since that time uh, price has been buying but right now it started selling and as it was selling we have got this nice level which is yeah so at this point we're expecting that price might come to this level and then start buying again or it might even start buying now as you can see that it's giving us a nice okay. bullish candle here so if we go down to smaller time frames which is uh boom 500 to uh, four hour uh, looking at four hours right now we can say let's use this level is our entry so if it happens that price come and break so right now it's the price is on that level so if it happens that price turns and start selling again then we're expecting it still to come to this level and then either buy or sell but the high chances are on buying but if it happens that right now it comes and break here then guys definitely we are expecting this to come here and then go up so this is what you are looking guys on boom 500 we're still expecting price to go up so just look out for for the week all right thanks guys um we don't want to keep this video rolling don't want to make it very long so yeah uh, during the week uh, we we're gonna send another video we're gonna upload another video talking about how we can use divergence indicator to take entries whether it's on crash whether it's on boom or vix or step index you name it um, i'm going to upload that video probably thursday or friday so click on that notification icon so that you know when we upload the video thank you guys Love to